Hello and welcome to Codeless Column. My name is Sunny Sulanki and in today's video I will explain you how to create a variety of bar charts which is stack bar charts and group bar charts using Python data visualization library matplotlib. We'll be creating charts in Jupyter Notebook. So without further delay, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open and at the beginning of the notebook, I have imported matplotlib. So let me execute this cell and show you the current version which is installed on my system. So the current version is 3.5.3 and we will be using this version to create a chart. Now before we move on and create uh, bar charts, uh, we need data. So I have decided to use a wine data set which is available from uh, Python machine learning library scikit-learn. So let me execute this cell and load the data set. Now dataset has information about various ingredients used in creation of three different types of wines. So as you can see the column names are ingredients and the last column name is wine type. So this one is a categorical column and it has three values class 0, class 1 and class 2. And I have loaded this dataset as a pandas data frame. Okay so let's move on. Now I have created one more data frame from our WineDF data frame and we'll be creating chart using data available from this data frame. So what I have done over here is that I have grouped the entries of WineDF based on wine type and then called a mean function on it so that we have average values of ingredient for wine type. So let me execute this cell and show you how this data frame looks. So as you can see this data frame has three entries class 0, class 1 and class 2. And then these values over here are average values of that ingredient per wine type. So we'll be using this data frame to create our uh, bar charts. So let's move on. The first bar chart type that we'll introduce is stacked bar chart. So I have decided to create a stacked bar chart showing average value of few selected ingredients. So let me select the four ingredients. From our original data frame. So I have decided I will plot alcohol, malic acid, ash and flavonoids. So I will create a bar chart, stacked bar chart that shows the average values of this ingredient for wine type. So Let's get started. First of all, I will create a figure object. Now, in order to create a figure object and create chart, I need to import PyPlot API of matplotlib. So, first of all, I will create a figure object by calling figure method. Figure size, I will set to, let's say, 8 by 6. So I will create a stack bar chart incrementally. So let's go ahead. Now we will create a first bars of alcohol, average values of alcohol. So I will call plt.bar method. For x axis, I will use average wine df of wine type. Then for height of the bars, I will use average wine df of alcohol the color i will set to tomato and let's say label to alcohol so let me execute this cell and show you how it looks so as you can see we have our uh, initial stack bar chart ready so over here we have average value of alcohol ingredient for wine type so wine type is there on x-axis and average value of these ingredients on y-axis now we will uh, add another bar average value of malic acid on top of this average value of alcohol so let's go ahead and do that so i will call plt.bar x as usual average wine df of wine type height will be average wine df of 
malic acid and now we need to specify bottom parameter so bottom parameter let's just specify from where the bar should start so for the first alcohol our bar starts from zero because it's the lowest bar now for malic acid the bar should start where alcohol ends so uh, average malic acid value for class zero sh should come over here for class one should come over here and for class two should come over here so i need to specify bottom parameter so bottom parameter will be average value of alcohol in this case so when alcohol the bar of alcohol ends the bar of malic acid starts so color i will set so let me set color to let's say dodger blue let me set label to malic acid so let me add x and y axis label as well i will say average ingredients y axis sorry uh, x label will be wine type and y label will be average ingredients let's give title as well average ingredients per wine type let's set location to left let's modify font size as well so we can do that using font deck parameter font size i will set to 20 font weight to bold to make to make the tech uh, the title of the chart little bit bold all right so let me execute this one and show you how it looks so as you can see now i have uh, bars of malic acid are stacked on the top of bars of alcohol so let's go ahead and add our third bars which are bars of uh, ash the ingredient ash so how can we do that so i will again copy so for x axis i will use as usual average wine df of wine type height will be instead of malic acid ash and bottom for this one will be sum of these two so now bottom for ash will be alcohol plus malic acid so how can i do that so i can call this and then call sum of this equal to one so let me explain you why i provided bottom value like this so let me show you what is this so so this is the average values of alcohol and malic acid now i want to start uh, bars of ash at, at the top of these two bars so i need to sum up these two values these two values so 13 plus 2 15 12 plus 1.9 around 14 and 13 plus 16 so how can i do that so that's why i have called axis equal to one parameter so now i have sum the entries of alcohol and malic acid for wine type okay so that value we will use as a bottom of our bars of our ingredient ash so let me modify this one over here to ash let's use different color let's use line for ash let me show you how this one looks all right so there you go uh, here we have our stack bar chart with three ingredients uh, laid on one over another so let's add our fourth and last ingredient so i will specify flavonoids over here label will be flavonoids color let's use orange and the bottom will be alcohol malic acid and ash sum of average values of all these three ingredients so now let me add legend as well to chat right so let me execute this cell and show you how our chat looks all right so there you go here we have our stack bar chart ready for us and let me just modify the 
label font as well x in my axis label font so the chart looks better so i will use 15 okay right so now this one looks quite better so there you go it's that easy to create a stack bar chart so the main um, the main logic that we have to use when creating bar chart is this bottom parameter from where the second bar should start okay so let's move on uh, now before we move on to our second chart type which is group bar chart uh, you know we can improve the look of this uh, stack bar chart further by introducing theme so matplotlib let us specify theme using use method of style sub module so there is a famous theme name 538 so once i execute this uh, this line all the charts which are created after this one will be using this theme to create charts so let me execute this and now let's copy our previous code and execute it okay so now this one looks uh, quite better as you can see background color has changed and uh, there are grids and yeah this one looks better so if you're interested in learning about how to use themes then we have a separate uh, video tutorial on it i will include the link in the description as well as in the top right corner all right so let's move on to our next chart type which is group bar chart now i will again create a um, bar chart where i am showing average value of ingredients per wine type but now the chart type is group bar chart instead of stack bar chart so bars will be laid to next to one another instead of stacked on one another so i'll be using same four ingredients so i will copy that four ingredients and let me copy some of let me use some of our previous code so let me modify figure size to let's say 12 by 6 and let's remove this legend we will keep x file label and title also will keep so now in order to create a group bar chart we need to specify x and height so height will be average alcohol for the first ingredient color let's keep to tomato and label as alcohol now uh, bars will be laid to next to one another in this case of, case of group bar chart so i need to provide a location of uh, that bar so for alcohol i will i will provide zero then one two and three will be for other three ingredients four we will keep for space then five six seven eight will be for other three ingredients nine we will keep as a space and then ten so let me uh, execute this and show you that why i did this and why i have provided x axis values like this all right so as you can see i have average value of alcohol plotted now there is a space over here because the other ingredients will come next to this one so let's go ahead and add other ingredients as well so the next ingredients is malic acid now malic acid will start from one then six and then 11. let's use different color dodger blue for malic acid okay let me execute this and show you the result all right there you go here we have malic acid let's add third and fourth as well ingredients third is ash let's use orange color for it and the ash will start from second seven and twelve okay and the fourth ingredient is flavonoids let's use lime color for it flavonoids 
and it will be third eight and thirteenth okay so let me execute this shell and show how our group bar chat looks right so here you go we have our uh, group bar chat ready so now on the x-axis i don't have a wine type so what i will do i will modify tick labels so how can i do that i can call x ticks method and i need to provide second parameter to it is what are the strings or values that we want to plot as a ticks so in our case it's average wine df of wine type and so location will be i want to plot over here so this is zero this is one and this one will be around 1.5 1.5 so after six between six and seven so 6.5 third one will be between 11 and 12 so 11.5 so let me execute this one all right there you go here we have our group bar chart ready and as you can see it looks quite better with the theme that we have set so yeah that's it for the day here is the summary of the chart so we explained how to create a stack bar chart and group bar charts using python data visualization library matplotlib so if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up and feel free to visit our website coders column if you are looking to learn more about python machine learning ai data science data visualization and so on so that's it for the day see you next time